yourself and your talk. Okay. <coughs> Some encouragement, everybody. It's self healing, is it? We shall see. Okay. So, let us sit down. Okay. Um, so, I am going to talk about form auto fuel violation, which is. I will talk about details later. So, I'm Xiaowen. Um, since I'm working in a bank, so this is important. <laughs> so, anything that I say is my opinion, doesn't represent my rep employer. <laughs> and then, uh, I guess you guys are familiar with like this thing, right? It shows up occasionally uh, everywhere in your, in your browser. So, uh, it's very con convenient for you to uh, like fill in like tedious form, like those forms that ask about everything about you. So this is helpful, but I'm not doing, going to talk about uh, how nice it, it is. It will be mostly about like how am I fighting against it. Um, so here's the situation. So uh, in my work, and then uh, there's some requirement that says that um, password shouldn't be remembered or shouldn't autofill. So yeah, the boss is not. You're working for a bank. Yeah. And you're disabling autofill, which people hate. So banks hate people. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how bank works. <laughs> anyway, so with that issues and I go to the go to best documentation in the in the web. Says that um, all I need to do is do this auto complete off, and there's some other thing like auto complete. Nope. But all that doesn't work, turns out. So, uh, say uh, this is the default form, right? Say I do testing, testing, and I say next, and well, I save it. Then the next thing is it's auto filling, right? Then let's go to our code base. That's my talk. See? Now look at this. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Okay. So let's just say that. Uh, so this is what is recommended by Mozilla. So. Like seriously, no. Like yeah. P E no. Yeah. What it says is that if you give a value that the browser could understand, then it would give up. Oh. But it's wrong. Okay, sure. Let's see. Okay, here it doesn't. See, uh, Firefox. It's all the feeling. Okay. The documentation by Mozilla is not applying to their browser. Right. This is an accident, by the way. Huh? Have you found that? What? They're deliberately overriding the documentation. Yeah, I think it's just that it's not being. It's not a bug. Like it's not being it's updated. No, it's, yeah, they haven't really updated. The when was it? Nee. last year. So, well, it doesn't work. And then uh, you can find it online, and then people will say that uh, because like password is important, and and banks and these financial institutions are doing this to user so that's why browser vendor decide to not let you disable it because right. <laughs> remembering password by browser is not a security issue having people type it out is more uh, serious than like it's autofill because the moment it's typed out and the CCTV here can record it it's not practical. Hey, he just works for the bank. Yeah, Come on, give it a Yeah. Well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's me. That's all of us. 
<laughs> and yeah, some very nice people like post their solution on, on GIS. So yeah, you can actually try it out uh, this solution, but I'll tell you it doesn't work because <laughs> browser get, get smarter and they, they are able to tell that if you set it to be hidden, either display none or visibility hidden. I don't know about opacity, but as long as the browser thinks that it's hidden, then it will still autofill. Uh, I can demo for you. Why does it make it hidden? So that the so the solution is to confuse the browser uh -huh. to autofill the wrong input. Okay. But but isn't the name fine? The name the name of the input so I Name doesn't matter. Because like let's say you are building a like single page app. Sometimes the the, the input doesn't have name, right? Something like maybe you use Angular, there's an ng model yeah, thing. Yeah, I think most browsers actually recognize the form by the names. That's why when you put the name in emails. No, it doesn't matter. So if, if the name is pin or like PPIN or PP or any name, as long as it's a combination of text and password or basically just password will do, then the browser will try to fill in. Yeah. So Say for example, uh, your previous implementation doesn't prevent the password prompt to be like safe, right? Say it's already safe, and then now you want to stop autofilling it. Then this is a solution to get around that. Uh, say we put these two back, and I will show you the one that is hidden I love the inline stars here uh, <laughs> yeah uh, chrome doesn't work chrome does work I remember one browser doesn't work let's see testing testing do I have something safe? no hey why is it not saving? Well, live demo. <laughs> I know why. So you're basically putting a honey pot in there for the browser to autofill before your actual ones, is that right? Yeah. So you, yeah. You're giving it two usernames and passwords, so it will fill in the first one but not the second. Did Safari just get dumped? <laughs> it doesn't save now. <laughs> yeah. <Well done. laughs> is your is your server running? It's <laughs> no, local host. So it's probably webpack server. Yeah. No, it's just a simple hosting. So I can show you project uh password. That's the structure. It's not a server. It's just a Python so simple HTTP yeah. server. Oh, oh. Yeah, so cool. Let me oh, kill no. it. So Safari is meant to remember at that point? Eh? Yes, remember. I have a great password by the way. <laughs> now you know. It's a secret. It's what he uses for everything. That's the trick. You something so obvious. That's thing. That's thing. Okay, safe. Hey, how come it works now? <laughs> ah, there, there, there. <coughs> oh, blink and you will miss it. Pay attention, folks. Oh, okay, so Chrome working, Safari not, Firefox not. I guess this <laughs> one was the trick. Yeah. So this one is a trick, but... Is that a standard keyword, the new password? Apparently, this only works for Chrome. I think if you use this, then Safari will try to fill in. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't remember, but only Chrome recognizes it. New password. 
Yeah. Okay. So what about the other browsers? The other browser doesn't. Right. Okay. 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 So now we fix the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is me with browser. Okay. So we just confuse the browser already. But then mm, you can see this, right? Oh. Okay. So like all this, it's a no no. Yeah, everybody wants to say the pop. Oh, so you don't want to even trigger the pop up? Yeah. Is that even possible? Well, possible. <laughs> Please explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could just say it's one of it. Yeah. Submitting. Well. Okay. So usually this kind of case, we will talk to the boss. Right. <laughs> it's not a problem, right? It's not auto filling. People are not getting their password out of you. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, doesn't make, need me to like help you Google. Uh, it's just like I'm just like going to go through my day more. So uh, the first solution was suggesting that uh, let me focus back on the first solution. So it says that uh, you should set read only to your field oh. to confuse the browser again. Oh. And then, you're made there, made there. then when you focus, then you remove it. But how do you have a focus event on something that's read only? Read only can, can be focused. Okay. Right. Yeah, so that the screen reader, when they ah, tap through, okay. then it will still read it out. Okay, does this work? Kind of. <laughs> okay. <coughs> uh, um, are you resetting the read-only on Blur then? No, doesn't need to. Okay. I tried resetting it, it's the same. Yeah. Same issue. So on focus, uh, this is the remove, attribute, uh, read-only. Uh, uh, do you need a cap of the case O? Hmm? No. Is your JavaScript? No, it's HTML. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Mm. I trust the man that works in the back. Dude, come on. You trust the page. <laughs> uh, trust the Local host. You really shouldn't be showing this to us. Just say. This is recorded. Yeah. There's no password. <laughs> it's just this. So we're packed into your accounts. Testing, testing. Okay, it doesn't work for Chrome. So it's like it's showing this. Okay. Uh, I think I haven't finished the solution. You have to do things like uh, on the type has to be button. So it's not going to technically submit. On the form. click, <laughs> technically you are not going to submit a form. You have to use AJAX to submit. Oh no. If you put a button in a form, it will submit a form by default. It becomes yeah. a submit. So browser would detect that a form is submitted. Yeah. Then it would try to save. <laughs> so we have to do like, let's say you are going to do it with Ajax. I'm just going to redirect. Uh, next or HTML like this. Then you will work. This solution is not going not going to work for Chrome, because like this is showing. Like it would try to remember whenever you type something. So before but you even submit it, it's something. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so it's not prompting. Mm. Then uh, Safari will still be trying to save. <laughs> no, no. Okay, uh, so the first solution doesn't work. Then let's try this. So essentially it's saying that uh, you should set your password field to be text and then mask it with the disk. Okay. So um, I think just do this with 
Oh, I need to do like copy paste. The type has to be text. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Data. So you could do password for styling. Not finished, not finished. We need a uh, vendor specific check. Do you, do you have your own evil laugh that you've worked on like, while you're doing this kind of stuff? Huh? <laughs> do you have an evil laugh that you've developed while you're breaking browsers like this? Yeah. But what to do? Because <laughs> this comes in as a regulation uh, consideration, so so you need this, else uh, Firefox will not work. Firefox will be showing your password in blank test. Oh. Yeah, there are solutions around it as well. Like people say that you track whatever people is typing in in memory instead of like flipping but then you have to track like where's the cursor when they delete all that uh, it's too troublesome for me you know like the solution yet but have you considered not using a form that would be even more tedious right but you create a box with key press events and write the key press events to the screen how do you track the cursor key press events yeah so you track no like say somebody click outside and click in again yeah. Where is your cursor? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think how you could possibly a password you could do it. It would be like a few thousand lines of code trying to like do this kind of. <laughs> the man works in a bank. He's already thought about this. Let him copy. Let him copy. Okay, let's try in Chrome. Uh, see whether it's still showing that key. Oh, it's not. So we managed to trick uh, Chrome, uh, just try that, it's showing the dicks. But apparently, um, Safari still have the problem. So what I suspect about Safari is that the moment that you type anything into a something that looks like password field, I, I think even if you set it to content editable, then you style it with the disk, right? It will think that you're typing a password. And the moment that you redirect from one page to the other, mm -hmm. then it will prompt. Uh. So I still haven't got a solution for Safari. Uh, there are some banks locally, they are managed to get around this because the uh, sign in page redirect to the same page. So if you post it to the same page, then it's not going to prompt. And then the whole page is, the whole banking website is iframe. So there's no redirection. And that's how they managed to get around it. Do you have to test with password managers, like one password or one password? Uh, I do have LastPass last installed. Uh, <coughs> I think what they are looking at is as long as you type something in the password field, yeah. then they will prompt. Because they don't have the luxury to like, access to the underlying Does interfaces. Do you know about such things? Or they no. Okay, don't mention it. The, the is this solution for you for me to use JavaScript actually? Like I said, how do you track the cursor? Than, um, it's more like a you. I mean, if I think if I do it right now, I'll probably do something like that. When you put when you, when the user inputs, um, you actually not submitting the data for you. Didn't actually <coughs> you actually will make the the the, the, the words right itself convert in the password form, and then when you submit that right, you actually change that into text instead. It doesn't so when work. You click, it doesn't when work. You click, then that form itself is actually been translated into plain text, right? You don't need Back to text. actually get <coughs> the form. I've seen Westpac in Australia, I don't know if they still do it. I had a virtual keyboard. 
So on your screen yes. you have to click. Oh, yeah, it's, it's horrendous. But still you have an input password, right? Unless the whole thing is, is like yeah, fake. Yeah, just, yeah, and I also think, I also suspect that, right, the current method of using the patch should, should not be able to work in IE9, the bank of registry as well. Huh? Why? Uh, because sometimes IE doesn't really recognize uh, the patch use. Okay. So, well, I, I we, we only need to support IE11. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can just style the attribute. Yeah. Interesting. So <laughs> thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so now we just submit your solution to okay. all the browsers as a bug. <laughs> no, there's already bug there, and there's even a W3C discussion says that uh, they decided to ignore the auto complete off thing because. Like I said just now, it's, it's, it's more serious than like, you typing out password in the public, yeah. than it autofill. Should yeah. the user's choice? Yes. They think the user doesn't know how to make the choice. But th this is the thing, that autofill was brought <coughs> in for the good reason of letting you autofill things. And you could turn it off if it was a password. Um, so you're setting a new password. You've got the horrible pattern where you set a password once and twice. Um, maybe you don't want to remember that one because that's just setting a password, it's not actually entering it. So the reason that autofill was brought in, uh, setting auto autofill, autofill, yeah. yeah. The reason it was brought in was for that particular circumstance. It's actually two separate features. Autofill is for form autofilling, then this password saving is another feature. But it was all to do with password saving though. The reason autofill was meant to contain um, earlier builds of uh, even Netscape, I think that you had your user profile, yeah. and you could put like your name and address, and it would try to find stuff on the field and fill it out for you. Oh, yeah. Safari does this pretty well; that it prompts for it quite well. So that's the goal of the browsers, and the idea of the autofill is the this particular field don't prompt me for my name just because it says name. So you might be filling in something where it doesn't want your name; it just wants a name. That's when you want to turn autofill off. So that's the intent behind the spec. But because it's been so badly abused by banks, um, they've basically said, forget it, it's better ignoring autofill altogether and for security's sake, letting people not have to remember passwords and type them out. But there are like findings says that uh, people keep repeating their password. Yep. So one of the good thing about password manager is that like even for Safari and I don't know about Chrome, they will give you the option to generate a new password when you sign yes. up for something then that is how you increase the the security of your accounts right because like for every website you are using a different password so it's less likely that people can steal your password because you don't even know your password but this is exactly why the browsers are fighting against what you're trying to do yeah. so they can have proper password and security yeah. Why banks insist on bad security, I don't know. But, yeah. Is it regulation? Regulation driven by bad security. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is this where you announce a bounty or something? <laughs> <laughs> but the conclusion is that like all these are catching out game, right? You you can't really like always be in the browser because you are just like one person whereas for the bank uh for the browser vendors it's like their whole team to like study they even control how browser works like i don't know like the 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 methods that i show today might not even maybe tomorrow they'll, they'll patch it yeah question on that so i'm sure this argument's been made but the people pushing for this Oh yeah, realize they're gonna be on the losing side. No, they uh, they could be people who are not tax savvy. They just know about business requirements. They must get angry every time it breaks too. The stupid tech people can't even fix my password thing for me. <laughs> yeah. Do you wanna make?
make it harder. If you try and defeat last pass as well. Yeah, that's what I was asking about password managers because they're really good at circumventing stuff like this. Um, yeah. DBS prevents um, one password working uh, because it disabled a lot of things. Um, actually, the worst thing is when banks launch in a, a new frame and you don't have your browser Chrome, so you can't invoke anything really easily. Uh, I think LastPass worked pretty well for me, like it will always show the icon there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think LastPass also has an API that actually allows you to disable it as well, using your JavaScript. Yeah. So I should be using LastPass yeah. instead of one password. <laughs> Too late. Yeah, Thank you. Yes. That's the answer. I have no idea how to fix it. <laughs> Do your chocolate throwing thing while I...